Hello everybody, my name is Lucius and I'm going to show you what's in the Air Force One airplane. The US President's Office in the Sky. The term Air Force One is the official air traffic control call sign used to designate any Air Force aircraft carrying the President of the United States. The current Air Force One airplanes are two highly customized Boeing 747-200B manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes in the United States. It is one of the largest commercial airplanes currently in service. When the Boeing 747 aircraft is upgraded to become a military version to serve the President, the Air Force designation for the aircraft is VC-25A. There are two VC-25A aircraft built, which carry the tail coast 28,000 and 29,000. According to Boeing, the Air Force One has a length of 231 feet 10 inches. The wingspan is 195 feet and 8 inches. It has four engines with a thrust rating of 56,700 pounds for each engine. And that's the reason why it's never a good idea to stand behind the airplane's engine. The plane's maximum takeoff weight is 833,000 pounds and can carry 53,611 gallons of fuel. The plane's flying range is 7,800 miles without refueling, and it can reach the speed of 0.84 Mach, which equals to 644.5 miles per hour. The capacity of the Air Force One aircraft is 102 people, including 26 crew members. There are three decks inside of the Air Force One aircraft the lower deck, main deck, and upper deck. Let's go over the main deck first. This is the president's private quarters. This suite includes a bed, sofa, dressing room, and a bathroom with a shower. There's also a small gym. Now I'm not really sure what kind of equipment can fit into this small space for the gym, so I decided to put a barbell here. Behind the suite is the president's office. Behind the office is a full medical suite. This room has medical supplies and all the equipment necessary to perform emergency first aid on board. It can also function as an operating room. Next is a kitchen. This kitchen accommodates three members of staff, a chef, a sous chef and a bartender, and they can prepare meals for 100 people at a time. This kitchen can store enough food up to 2000 meals. Here are some pictures of the meals served on the Air Force One. But if you want a Big Mac, I guess that will be available too. Past the kitchen is a small room for senior staffers. This room has seat arranged in the circles. Next is the conference room. The conference room is often used as a dining room for the president and their guests. Right behind the conference room is a space for president's office staff. This room is equipped with Wi-Fi, fax machines, phones, and TVs. Going further down the plane, the rooms get more compact and start to look more like a commercial aircraft. This space is for guests and journalists. Moving to the upper deck, this space can be accessed through this stair. This is the cockpit. Air Force One is piloted by two U.S. Air Force pilots, known as the Presidential and Deputy Presidential Pilots. Behind the cockpit is a lavatory and a lounge for the crew members. It also has two beds for resting. And this is the communication suite where the staff monitor air-to-air, -air, air to ground and satellite communications. Moving down to the lower deck, the lower forward compartment is where the communication equipment located. In the middle, it is a space for luggage and equipment. 
and at the end, it is a storage for bulk cargoes. The lower deck can be accessed through these two staircases from the main deck and also through these doors from the ground. With the capability of refueling mid-air, the Air Force One practically has unlimited range and can carry the President wherever he needs to travel. The aircraft is not only made for comfort and convenience for the President and the passengers, but also for safety. It is well equipped with advanced defense technology. Much of the defense technology on board Air Force One is classified, for obvious reasons. However, here are the few features we do know. The plane is outfitted with electronic countermeasures located in the attic to jam enemies' radar. It also has infrared countermeasure systems to divert heat-seeking missiles by disturbing their guidance systems. The plane can also eject flares under the wings to disrupt the incoming heat-seeking missiles. Air Force One can withstand an EMP attack. EMP is an electronic magnetic pulse generated by a nuclear explosion or non-nuclear device. An EMP attack would destroy the electronics and digital circuitry in the area of impact. The US Air Force announced that it will replace the 747-200B with the new 747-A to become the next airplane to serve the President of the United States. Thank you for watching this animation. If you find this interesting, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Lucius and I will see you in the next video.